welcome everyone. My name is Raw Danger, and oh my god, did we get some crazy, crazy, crazy news today. I know it has been anticipated ever since they announced that we were gonna do, they were going to do a Zombies live stream prior to the launch of Black Ops 3, but we've been waiting for this moment for a long, for about three years now, because no one gets it better than Treyarch. And there's so much to break down and talk about. I'm just going to let the play, the trailer play in the background. That way you can see it. And I'm just going to talk about what I want to talk about. And some things I, I saw. They finally really showed the gobble gum packs. And they just recently showed that. And so when they did the trailer, they showed that gobble gum's going to be in it. And in the live stream with Jason Blundell and IGN. I forget the guy's name. He looks like a weasel. <laughs> just kidding. He really does look like a weasel, though. But that being said, they made it say that your gobble gum pack works best implemented as a team. So if you have like a high, sh a person that can always make it to around fifty, no downs, a million kills, you may want to do your gobble gum pack offset to how your teammates do it or the weakest link does. Because if the best players run in the best gobble gum packs. The way they made it sound, it sounds like not everyone can run the same gobblegum pack in a lobby. That's what I picked up on. I don't know how true that is, but that's what it sounded like. And they did touch on Prestigen. So there's going to be Prestigen in it. We all knew that and the way the XP system works a little bit. He made it sound like, I guess, depending on how far you get in rounds, how many kills and all that. I guess, depending on your Easter egg progress and all that, all factors in. It didn't really say... The old ranking system from Black Ops 2 was alright, but it wasn't It was nothing crazy. I mean, if you played it a lot and you were decent, then it really showed how good of a player you were, yada, yada, yada. But penalize you with one down could drop you a, a skull rank or two, so it wasn't really that fair. In this video, they showed Pack-A-Punch coming back. And oh my god, it looks like the bullets are explosive. This got its own sick little camo. Oh my god, like this is, it's, it's beyond hype. The Hellhounds, the Hellhounds are back, oh my god. Dude, like I'm beyond hyped right now, like, it's starting to get us lost of words. The Hellhounds, they look very fierce, they look more realistic like how a Hellhound should look. The old ones on the 360 and PS3, they didn't really have any like, <sighs> I guess it's going to sound a little stupid when I say this, hell to it. I mean, they call it Hellhounds, but... They didn't seem scary or gruesome. Like you, they chased after you. They teleported in. The ones in this trailer look fierce. They looked awesome. And they're showing normal perks back. It doesn't show you if there's more than four. The only one they show, I, I I'm sure that I can't. I don't remember seeing any other than the gobble gum. Is speed cola. So it makes me think: Is there going to be normal perks and the gobble gum? Do you get the gobble gum? Like say you're rank five. I don't know, on Prestige 1, does that mean you can only use one gobble gum? You, or is it, do, do they unlock round based? We don't know. So it's just hard. I guess time will tell pretty much. One thing that was stated by Jason Blundo, which is a big thing, that this is the predece predecessor to Origins. He said in the live stream that they left it off on purpose as a cliffhanger. And he doesn't want to keep us on that cliff any longer. But he did state in Jason Blundos, one cryptic, cryptic dude. He is like a walking Chinese puzzle with words. Like it is beyond amazing. He said that this map is packed with Easter eggs. And Shadows of Evil is packed with Easter eggs. And he said Shadows of Evil is the most massive, most dense, intense map they've ever created. They said with the three-year development cycle, they wanted to give a little bit more, and they did not want to wait any longer than launch to continue off with that cliffhanger. Is the reason we're getting the giant on day one. And also stating with getting the giant on day one, you get the giant with the season pass or the collector's edition. With the collector's edition, you get it as a pre-order bonus instead of along with three personalization packs and something else. Nuketown. Nuketown. I'm stupid. But going back to that, it's a, I'm loving how they give it to you in the season pass. I don't know if it'll be day one with the season pass. Who knows? I guess we'll find out closer to launch. Another thing that was stated, 
and makes makes my theories run and all the other amazing zombie YouTubers is that he stated that you know Rick Toffin comes back and shoots himself and that's gotta disturb the timeline for this. He, he said this game is the same map reimagined from the ground up with all the new gen hardware with all the new core mechanics and some of the new like movement system involved but it's not the same time frame as what it originally was and I'm, I'm assuming that's from Rick Toffin coming back to kill the other Rick Toffin to change change it and make it better day for day like he quotes quote unquote in the vi in the video you're watching so the next thing that being said with that is I wonder how they're gonna do it I wonder if DLC 1 when it most likely they come in January, so I guess February for me would be, do we get two zombie maps? Do we get one? Do they continue Shadows of Evil, or are they continuing this? Is Shadows of Evil just the main thing they were working on for something new, and all the DLC is going towards Darice and continuing with the old storyline like Jason Blundell said he wants to do? He said he doesn't want to leave nothing unturned, he wants to keep the story rolling, he wants to keep it fresh keep it compacted with easter eggs he said there's all kinds of new stuff to discover also with the new stuff being discovered he did touch on something called mod kits the more you play the more you earn the more you reward yourself with your xp i don't don't know he because i was getting kind of confused on the where he's so cryptic if it's related to prestigion or or 100 percent xp he did say a little bit of xp but i don't know if it's prestige or if you find them you can find mod kits that help you with the box and they help make your gun stronger or maybe it makes buildable stronger because they were talking about buildables back and forth on that and they said that the fans really took the buildables so just like they showed that rough i guess flame and riot shield thing you can do in shadows of evil i don't know no, none of us know yet because the game hasn't launched obviously but Maybe there's something you can mod, mod like a zombie shield, or mod like some, a new trap or some sort, and you make the effect longer, make the blast radius twice as big. I don't know, I'm just contemplating throwing out ideas, but I don't know, it is so epic. Before they got on with all the major part of the live stream, about midway through, Jason Blundell and, and that head guide IGN unboxed the pl PS4 version of the Juggernaut Edition. And it's, it looks about three foot tall, and it looks amazing. The case is awesome. It's, like, custom made. If you spin it around, if you take the top shell off, it's there's, like, zombies, like, an environment and all that on it. And you pop that off. Then you got your season pass, your cup holders, the fridge. And the fridge is what everyone looks for. It's got working light on the top. You open it up. It's got three different sound effects. I mean, it looks sick. I wish I was one of those lucky people that actually got it. But all right, guys, that pretty much sums it up. I don't want to babble on for 100 minutes coming up with theories. Stay forward. I'm going to do a theory video, I think, coming up. It's the first time I've ever, I'm have ever i ever going to try one, so just let me know what you guys think afterwards. If there's anything I missed in the trailer breakdown or anything you want to discuss or talk about, just let me know in the comments section below. As always, I'm Raw Dog, and I will see you demons next time. Goodbye.